Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. So today we will learn chapter 6, integration of exponential, logarithmic and trigonometric functions, subtopic 6.1, integration of exponential functions. At the end of the lesson, you should be able to integrate the exponential functions fx is equal to exponent x and fx is equal to exponent to the power of ax plus b. So, how do we integrate exponential function? So, in order to integrate exponen exponential functions, so let's say we have to integrate exponent to the power of ax plus b with respect to x. So, this is equal to, so write it back and then you divide by the differential of ax plus b and don't forget the c so this is equal to exponent to the power of ax plus b so the derivative for ax plus b is equal to a plus c so that's how you integrate the exponential function so in general, for functions in exponential form, the following formula can be used to determine the anti-derivative. So, for the first formula, we have to integrate exponent x with respect to x. So, this is actually exponent x divided by 1. So, that's why we get the exponent x plus c. So, for the second formula, uh, when we integrate exponent to the power of ax plus b, so we will get exponent ax plus b divided by the differential of a plus c where a cannot be equal to 0. Now, we go to example 1, question number 1. So, we need to integrate 5 exponent x. So, based on the properties of integral, so we can bring the constant 5 out from the integral so we left with exponent x dx so we know that exponent x integrate so we get exponent x plus c okay next we go to question number 2 so we have to integrate 3 over 2 square root exponent x with respect to dx so we can bring out the 3 over 2 so exponent x over 2 dx so now um, we can integrate exponent x over 2 so you divide by so you need to differentiate x over 2 so you will get 1 over 2 plus c so we can eliminate the 2 so we have 3 exponent x over 2 plus c or 3 square root exponent x plus c. Okay, now we proceed with question number 3. So we have to integrate 1 minus 3 over exponent to the power of 4x plus 1 with respect to x. So Actually, you can split uh, this integral. So, we have uh, integral 1 dx minus the integral 3. And then we can bring the uh, exponent to the top. So, we have exponent to the power of negative 4x plus 1 dx. Okay. So, integrate 1, you will get x. And then you minus. So, we can bring the 3 outside. So, we have a negative 4x plus 1 dx. So, this is equal to x minus 3. So, write back exponent 4x plus 1. And then, you need to differentiate the power. So, 
so you have a negative 4 and don't forget the C so when we expand it so we get a negative 4 multiply with negative 3 so you have a positive 3 over 4 exponent to the power of negative 4x plus 1 plus C or x plus 3 over 4 exponent to the power of 4x plus 1 and plus c okay now we go to the final example question number 4 so we have uh, exponent x plus exponent to the power of negative 3x divided by exponent x so actually we can simply find first so we have exponent x divided by exponent x plus exponent negative 3x divided by exponent x dx so exponent x divided by exponent x is actually equal to 1 and we have exponent negative 3x uh, minus x dx so this is equal to 1 plus exponent negative 4x dx so now we can start our integrate so integrate 1 so we get x plus so exponent negative 4x so you need to differentiate the power so you get a negative 4 and don't forget plus c so your final answer would be x um, so this one become a negative uh, 1 over 4 exponent to the power of 4x plus c okay so i think that's all see you on the next video